Hey adventurers, I'm Wade with Cherry Light Explorers. On our first several videos in Southern Nevada, Mojave Desert, we're going to be exploring Red Rock Canyon National Conservational Area. Red Rock Canyon expands over 200,000 acres with over 30 marked trails on a breathtaking 13 miles scenic drive. Located 17 miles off the Las Vegas Strip on Charleston Boulevard. If you're looking to hike, mountain bike, rock climb, horseback riding, or maybe just want to enjoy a picnic with the family, Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area is a host to all types of explorers. With over 2 million visitors a year, Red Rock Canyon seems to have a little bit of something for everyone. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to explore. I guess the question is, where do we begin? Located just over a mile, East of the Red Rock Canyon entrance, tucked away and out of sight are seven marked trails. This is where we will begin. The first stop on our long list of trails that we will be exploring here at Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area is called Jeans Trail. Jeans Trail is a 2.62 mile hike with a total elevation gain of 381 feet. According to Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area, the level of difficulty is moderate. Today, you will be joining me as we make our way through this ever-changing out and back trail. Do you hear that? It's not just the wind. That's Gene's trail calling us to come explore. What do you say we get out there and connect with nature? We are starting Gene's trail from the parking lot. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, we're coming up to a split here. Definitely want to make sure we mark this. Okay, so we got going to the right, and then we have one going to the left. So we're going to take the, the path to the left. We come up with to our first marker here, and we'll continue on. Have a little bit of an incline. Right off the bat, it definitely puts you through it a little bit. Nice little incline here. Deep, long breaths. Right, this is cool. Let's get up to the top. Here we go, see a ton of mountains. What a view. Nice little 360 for you. It's just endless. It's crazy. Okay. Let's keep going. Help us off here a little bit. This is time to catch my breath. There's 
also doing this hike mid-afternoon. Coming up to another marker, just telling us to go keep keep on this path straight ahead. So if you see this mountain uh, with that top little, almost looks like a shark fin, that is Turtle Head Peak. And uh, I've been trying to convince Aaron to come out there, out here and help me tackle that guy because it's uh, the only hike that is technically strenuous. So uh, I might need a little assistance with that one. With over elevation uh, 6,000 feet, I believe. So I'm gonna get him on board. <laughs> As you can see, the path is relatively clear. We're going to travel down and then back up. Nice another incline. There we go, back down. Up and down, up and down. Let's take your time. Don't forget to have those long inhales. quality oxygen out here, I feel. Don't forget to uh, take in the environment through your senses. Smell the air, feel the wind on your skin. Listen to your feet, crunch, crunch, crunch. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey, right? Good work. 
back to the top. Give you a nice little look around. Beautiful, isn't it? Not for the decline. Moderate, but. You're drinking plenty of water. So as you can already see, the landscape is night and day different from the trails that A trains hiking in Kentucky. contrast on it is really nice though I feel I don't know if you can see the marker that we're coming across I believe it splits up here and uh, we're gonna be going left but uh, we will find out here shortly oh here's the split right here give me a second let me just put this on the maps Save. Okay, and we're going to just continue left here up to the marker. So, all trails has us 0.8 miles in. Coming up on another marker that splits off two ways, one to the left, one to the right. Uh, I'm not sure where the left one goes, but this, the one on the right, will be the one that we're staying on. And put a waypoint. Okay. And this one is to uh, Dean's Trail on the right here. incline but I mean decline so once we get down here to this access road I'm gonna create a little TikTok video and then we'll continue on our trail but uh, we'll just keep the camera rolling as I do so Right here there's another split one goes to the right the other one goes to the left and we'll continue on the right trail up here wind's brutal today hopefully you can hear me hey so from here we're a mile in i'm gonna go ahead and create a little tiktok video camera there we go all right what's going on tiktok we're a mile in jeans trail and we come up to this fork so basically one to the right and one to the left we're going to stay right on here to uh, access the rest of jeans trail 
Uh, but so far, it's been a great hike and I'm enjoying myself. Till next time. Okay, that does that. So now we'll continue on. I think this is a, a great trail to start with, for sure. And we're gonna get down into these mountains. It's gonna be really cool. Ah, excuse me. Look at the color difference in these mountains. It's just crazy to me. I think that's one of the big reasons why I find Red Rock Canyon so intriguing. So beautiful too. Okay, coming up on another marker. So, and it looks like this one splits as well. There's a lot of splits in this hike here. So let's make sure we capture that. Let's take, let's do the left side. Let's see what happens here. I think it just merges together. Yeah, the left side seems to be a little bit more adventurous, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, and then over here to the right, that was the trail that we would have been on if we took the right split there. So keep that in mind. And this is where it's going to connect back together. And we're going to veer off to the left here. That's where we would have came if we went down the right side of that split. Okay, coming up to another marker right ahead. left. So down here in the creek bed, it's kind of hard to see exactly where this trail, trail goes, but I believe if you look to the right, now to the left, we're gonna go right up here and then it connects back to the trail. But there's some good grip on this, uh, these rocks, so it's pretty easy to, to kind of climb up it without a whole lot of struggle. All right, so this is where, this kind of is confusing as well because there's a path that leads straight here and then there's a but then when you turn this is the trail that we want to be on 
uh, to the right. So I'm just going to put a marker here, okay, and then we're going to go to the right here. And then that, up here is the I think this loops back around, I hope anyways. Let's see. Well, this looks like it goes deeper. Deeper into it. So we're just gonna kind of take this path here. Uh, it doesn't look like the actual trail, but uh, I just looked at the mileage and we seem to be a little bit short from the suggested mileage. So I think maybe that is the loop then. Maybe there is a loop. So let's just go back down. Let's just follow it through just to see. I think it loops back around. At least that's my guess. So that little spot that I went up the mountain, let's just disregard that. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to call this another split, save it, okay. <clears throat> yeah, that sun is hot. Okay, another marker here, Craft Mountain Dean's Trail, going this way. don't really see another marker but that last marker definitely said go this way so we're going to continue on just a little bit further just to see if something appears here okay there is I do see a marker so we're gonna go down here check it out Craft Mountain. Let's see where we're at. This is point six. So this is about what they said it was going to be. So I'm guessing that we're going to go back this way. Uh, so this would be like the turnaround for Gene's Trail. So I'm going to do a quick little TikTok video, and then we'll head back. Okay. Hey, what's going on TikTok? Wait again. We are at the end of Jean's Trail. Uh, beautiful hike. It was just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And uh, I'm just going to turn the camera around just so it'll give you a nice little pan. Well, apparently it doesn't let me. So I will do this. But anyways, Way with Trailer Explorers. Thanks for coming along, tagging along with me. And uh, we will see you on the next one. See ya. All right, we'll take that. We'll go with it. 
All right, so now we're going to go adventure back. Oh, I gotta mark that split though, don't I? Okay, I'm gonna call this waypoint. All right, now well, let's continue back. goes this way. I see it now. There we go. Check out this canyon. Not too close, but close enough to get a nice view. I'm going to tilt this down here. Nice little pan. So now we come back down to this split and I went over here straight ahead, kind of what the sign's saying. So I went this way and then looped around back up here, followed that trail. So I'm guessing you could go this way, then come back around here. So I guess it's just an optional, but it's kind of like a little loop. Uh, but yeah, we'll continue going, going back to the parking lot, I guess. Check out the map. Okay. Interesting, I lost where we came up at. No, it wasn't here. It has to be around this side. Oh. I know where it is. Okay. Okay, down we go. Be careful coming down that. It's a little steep. So this is where it veers off again. Instead of uh, going the way that we came, I say we take uh, take the opposite path, just so you can see. But I will put a marker on. Here and it goes up that way. And there's, just a, there's a few different ways you can get down to that trail. Here's another split here. Call this one. And we're gonna go left. Ah, 
Oh, we're back at uh, the marker. I'm just going to turn around and just show you where we went. All right, so we came up this way on the on the way back, but on the way in, we stayed to our left. So it's just your option. It's optional. I think left's a little bit more scenic. It's a little bit more adventurous, I feel. Um, but you can go either way. So let's continue. Okay, some of you see it, and I can't help myself, but I want to add a stone to the top. I just gotta find the right one. Looks like a good one. No, make it fall. Ta da! <laughs> All right. Balance is key. Look at that view. Take it in for a moment. <sighs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. If you guys can see it over there, but the Las Vegas Strip should be able to. Doesn't look like it's very far off, does it? I mean, I wouldn't want to walk there, but. <laughs> oh, oh, you actually see, you see the moon in the sky? Right up there? That's kind of cool. Oh, look, there's the sun. There's a moon. Hmm. Cool year. Looks like it's the first quarter moon, actually. Just a little access road here. Goes to the left, to the right. I, mean, I don't really see vehicles being able to make it down here, but maybe some uh, off-road vehicles or four-wheelers, dirt bikes, that kind of thing. Okay. So I didn't make, point this out on the way down because I didn't think it was really necessary, but on the way back, you do have another split over to the left and to the right. Okay, rock and roll. A lot of loose rocks here, so be careful with your footing if you come out here. Relatively easy to uh, twist an ankle and not a fun place to be having to walk back with a twisted ankle. So just be, be mindful, watch out for your steps, but uh, I think you manage. a good marked trail, you know? Nothing, nothing pleases me more to come across a mark, a marker that uh, points us in the right direction and shows that we're on the right trail. 
because if you notice once we get into a lot more of these hikes this one especially has a lot of different split offs that you could take but it doesn't really connect to Gene's trail so hence why we do the mapping and the scouting and so on and so forth makes it easier a little bit easier for you guys to uh, come and explore Sorry for that hard cut uh, where my GoPro battery went dead. Just replaced it. And now we're continuing on.
do I not if I come across a trail that I don't see anyone on and today was one of those days there was just no one here today at least on this trail but these trails that we are hiking first they are off off to the side of Red Rock so a lot of um, a lot of tourists and a lot of adventurers come to explore Red Rock and they go straight inside the, the to the scenic loop where there's access to a ton of trails. And as you can see, the road, the access road to these trails are ahead of us. And you can see the, rail, the road that goes along and then out to Charleston Boulevard there. Okay. All right, nice work, adventurers. We made it to the end of Jean's Trail. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will be taking the GoPro off my chest and flipping it around and giving you my final thoughts of the trail. But thanks for joining me. adventures there you have it that is jeans trail thank you for joining me on my very first hike uh, here in nevada the mojave desert um, i was happy to do this one not only is it the first one that you come across on these seven trails that are a mile east from red rock it's just a beautiful trail to start with um, so i'm really happy with it just keep in mind there are a lot of splits on this trail so it's easy to get veered off and and adventure out somewhere else not saying don't do it but at the same time if you want to stick to jeans trail download our map so you have it uh, and watch this video so you can kind of see where those uh, splits come and which directions to go. Uh, our next video in the Mojave Desert here in Nevada, Southern Nevada, will be Calico Basin. Um, that's going to come in a few weeks after you see another hike in Kentucky with, with Aaron. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, check out our TikTok, subscribe to our YouTube channel, smash that like button, give us a thumbs up, and turn on those notifications so that you stay alerted to what's up and what, when we release videos. But until next time, guys, this is Wade with Trailer Explorers. Love to have you here. Bye.